is very Dave's very look in this scenario in which Iran becomes a superpower. This is very unlikely because of the current state of Iran with people disliking Iran in Iran. And most countries don't like Iran. So, like, that's difficult to see. Although they're a very strong player, maybe they were Dave's stuff. Let's say they become a superpower. How did that happen? I guess maybe a rice shifted back to oil. I don't know. Let's just say something random. No, because Iran just collapsed. <laughs> I don't even know what they did. But however, they became, they woke up as a superpower with every weapon they could dream of. And now they get revenge on Afghanistan. They don't like Afghanistan, I guess. Because Afghanistan once invaded them. Ooh, they don't like Afghanistan. No, they don't. And they get stuck in the stalemate. <laughs> Well, if they didn't become a superpower, that would happen. They become stronger than the Soviet Union and the Americans ever were. And well, ever I surprise see a big encirclement and then the fall of Afghanistan. And so Iran decides to eat it. And now their goals are to go after Pakistan and Turkmenistan. One at a time. And then they're going to shift their attention into the Caucasus. Then into Arabia and Anatolia. I said that in a weird way. But anyways, the first nation they go after is Pakistan. Wait, what? They declared war on India? No, they wouldn't do that. Unless they have zero brain cells, and how come there's, like, Pakistan in the center of their country? I doubt Pakistan it has land there, because it doesn't. But anyways, according to this map, it does. Who knew? Sometimes maps can be so stubborn. No, how about when you get a map that's unable to be seen? Now that's a pain. With nobody coming to help Pakistan, except maybe a bit of age flowing in from China, let's say. But it gets demolished, and nobody wants to send anything in, because Iran has somehow become a superpower, even though that makes no sense. Maybe it was India and Russia breaking sanctions with them, who knows. Before Islamabad is even taken, the capitulation of Pakistan has occurred. Now, if this was realistic, it wouldn't have fell that fast. Well, it didn't fall that fast. Maybe it was a few months, maybe even a year, if they were that strong. But India could do that quicker. India becoming a superpower is way more realistic than this. And then again, I did Germany a superpower. That doesn't seem too realistic. And now they completely are starting to take shape. Iran is getting in shape after I ran across the land. Well, I mean, I rolled. <laughs> I guess they weren't thinking about how funny that joke would be. Well, maybe it's because people make jokes about Iran, Turkey, it's their name, Greece, Hungary. What other countries do you make fun of the name? Yeah, man. Oh, man. Djibouti. And they go into the Caucasus. But Russia says, you can't have it. Can we have some? Because Russia's greedy, as we all know. And so, sure, Russia's invited. Because not only is Russia evil, but Iran... Not only is Iran evil, but Russia is. They both have no sense for human life, I guess. But anyways, I guess they're running into the Caucasus. Now, yeah. And this is why I don't record with phones in the background, because they go bing, 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 bing. That's the lesson for everyone, if you ever try to become a YouTuber. And yeah, they split the Caucasus Mountains. And maybe there will be peace treaties without me still talking while they're actually occurring. With Iran taking all of Armenia, most of Azerbaijan, a chunk of Azerbaijan, and all of Georgia's gave to Russia. But then they go to war with Iraq. Guess what? A Middle East Treaty Organization was signed. Oh, I forgot to tell you about it. Hey, there's a Middle Eastern nation. <laughs> NATO is the thing. And they even decide, oh, this. And Russia just joins in for the fun of it. Because Russia is Russia. And being Russia is not really the best idea. Don't be like Russia. Just don't. 
if you ever form a nation, if you ever become the government, just everybody knows you should invade. So say they have weapons of mass destruction, but in reality, you know, they don't. Because if they did, you wouldn't invade, because that would make no sense. Now, what it? Well, they expand out in the south after naval landing in Qatar. I think that's where I landed the troops. With Turkey and Saudi Arabia launching counter-offensives. Turkey's goes like this, and Saudi Arabia pushes them back. And in circles, not in circles, but cuts off two of the fronts. But with Iran really focused on Iraq, they take Baghdad. During this, due to their neglect of this area, Saudi Arabia takes it back. Meaning they lost land, but that was part of their strategy. Isn't that funny how when Russia retreats, it's a failure logistically, but when Ukraine retreats, it's a strategic retreat? What if they're both being strategic? <laughs> Who knows? With world anymore. The world is literally falling apart. And I'm just here making videos of the world falling apart even further. Who knew? Maybe there, maybe every nation just watching my videos. I'm like, hey, that sounds like a good idea. And now, that's enough being comedian, because I'm not very funny. Well, I hope I'm not, but I don't think I am. Except I rolled. And while the front line turns out to be like this. With Turkey sending troops into this region to try and stop it, and Saudi sending troops into the south, even taking parts of Kuwait, which Iran doesn't want, but they kind of had to have happen. But did anybody think of this one? Probably didn't think I was going to bring Greece into this war, because they're so slippery, it would slip right to Iran. <laughs> Across Turkey. Now, that's not a joke. Well, it sounds like a joke. Maybe you're living in Turkey, you probably don't find this funny, but I do. Saudi Arabia. And Iraq is probably just as well being said. They don't exist at this point, they're just being occupied by their friends. Don't be a friend like Iran and betray all of your friends in this video. Don't be like Greece and Turkey and pretend to hate each other, but really, we all know, you're secretly working together to take over the world. That sounds funny. Imagine if that is the case. Just think of it for a minute. Do we even have them united? <laughs> like, they're too powerful to be together. But, now, for the Israeli offensive... And all the anti-Palestinians and anti-Israelis are happy because both Palestine and Israel is now part of Iran. So I guess that solves the problem. I guess that solves the problem. Probably start World War III in my comments, but anyways. I would rather world... At least I'm not making jokes about the Balkans now. That comment section would be even better. If I said Bulgaria should have all of Northern Macedonia, Dubrosia... Thrice, and parts of Serbia. With Saudi Arabia surrendering and the rest of the nations on this team follow suit. And where there are, oh, Somalia annexed Yemen's island, just saying. It's definitely, I didn't mess it up. Now let's, basically I've remade in Persia, but anyways. It took like the coast of Arabia on their coast, they took a big chunk out of the Middle East. They have expanded well. Russia took a bit out of Turkey here. Greece was just greedy, because that's what Greece is, greedy. It has two E's. So, like, we just need to change the last two letters, and we got greedy. <laughs> greedy Greece. That's what its new name is. We got the puppet of Anatolia. Why did I say Anatolia? Weird. Like, trying to make an accent or something. It's just sounded like a kid trying to make an accent. Now, this is Levant. Yeah. And it's... Whatever is going there. I don't even. I should have probably just. Got rid of it. To not create any like problems with the region. Because it's probably already starting to blow up. So yeah. I ran. So let's fix it before it's too late. Okay. Now that's better. 
because now there's no Israel Palestine thing. I got rid of it, so like I think the world is a better place now. Maybe we should just get rid of every country. Oh wait, when I get rid of every country and make peace, except like Canada. Oh wait a minute, <laughs> let's put them back in World War One. That sounds like a good idea. Canadians during war would blow the full world up. Canadians normally. Pretending not to be evil. And let's go on, because that's all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Wild Mapper out, but not until you subscribe. Bye, guys!